What was the relationship between Goonie Boys and Goonie Gang at that time? We were still the same. We were still the same. But from that time, it was like the shorties, they was under like, they was following like under Old Dog and Little A and everything. So you said the shorties were following Old Dog. Who was Old Dog? Romeo. And do you know Romeo's last name? Blackman. Approximately. How long have you known Romeo Blackman? I knew, I knew for like, since like 2005, six, yeah. And how did you know Romeo Blackman? Through Dell, I knew. And is that Dell that you previously identified in Government Exhibit 2220? Yes. What was the relationship between Romeo and Dell? Cousins. Do you see the person you know as Romeo Blackman in the courtroom today? Yes. Can you please point to that person and identify that person by an article of clothing? With green stripes, green and white stripes. The record will reflect the in-court identification of the defendant. Thank you. Was defendant Blackman a member of a gang? Yes. And what gang? Gangster Disciples. And was he specifically a member of a fraction of the Gangster Disciples? Yes. What was that? Goonie Boys, Goonie Gang. Do you know a person by the name of Terrence Smith? Yes. Does he go by a nickname? Yes. What is that nickname? T. How did you first meet T? I met T through Old Dog, Romeo. And do you recall approximately when you met him? It was some summertime when I met him. I don't know exactly like I met him. So you met him in the summertime. Was it after you were released from custody? Yes. Yes. The time we talked about? Yes. Okay. Do you see the person that you know as T in the courtroom today? Yes. Can you please point to the person and identify that person by an article of clothing? I can't see what color shirt, but I think it's blue, gray. More detail, counsel. Can you please give more detail? You can stand up if it's hard to see that person. Button up, blue shirt on. Blue button up. The record will reflect the in-court identification of the defendant. Thank you. And did you know T to be a member of a gang? Yes. What gang? Gangster Disciples. And was he a member of a specific faction of the Gangster Disciples? Yes. And what was that? Goonie Boss, Goonie Gang. Now, did you know a person by the name of Delicious Terman? Yes. And did that person have a nickname? Jojo. How did you meet Jojo? Jojo, he used to always be with my big brother, G. Winnie. And who was Jojo's mother? Mama Friday. Did you know Jojo to have any siblings? Yes. And who were those siblings? Nate, Millie, and he got some girl sisters. Do you recall approximately when you met Jalicious Terman? I've been new JoJo, but JoJo came back around like, around. Keep your voice up. JoJo came back around like, when I got out of jail, he was around. And would that be around 2012? About 2012, 13, yes. Do you see the person that you know as Jalicious Terman in court today? Yes. Can you please point to that person and identify that person by an article of clothing? Blue suit jacket on. More detail, counsel. Gray, dark grayish button up. The record will reflect the in-court identification of the defendant. 
Thank you. In the time that you knew Defendant Terman, did you know him to be a member of a gang? Gangs of Disciples. And did you know him to be a member of a specific faction of the Gangs of Disciples? Jojo was with us. Goonie boys. Goonie gang. You mentioned that Defendant Terman had some brothers. First you said Nate. Is that correct? Yes. Can you tell me how you knew Nate? All of them went to school with my little brother and little sisters. When did you meet Nate? I can't recall exactly when. I've been knowing. I knew him like since we moved over there. Do you know Nate's real name? Nick Daniel McElroy, if I'm not mistaken. Your Honor, at this time, I will seek to publish what's already in evidence as Government Exhibit 2204. 2204 is in evidence. You may publish. I'm sorry, I think that's backwards. Can you hold on? May I have one moment? Sure. Your Honor, can I go in witness only mode for a moment? It already is. Thank you. Okay. Your Honor, I apologize. I will seek to publish Government Exhibit 2203 to this witness, which is already in evidence. 2203 is in evidence. You may publish. Thank you. Do you see the person on the screen in front of you? Yes. Do you recognize that person? Yes. Who do you recognize that person to be? Nation Nathaniel. And you said he goes by Nation as well? Yes. Do you know Nate or Nation to be a member of a gang? Yes. What gang? Gangsta Disciples. Any specific faction? Goonie Gang, Goonie Boss. Now you mentioned a person by the name of Millie. Is that correct? Yes. You said he was also a brother of Defendant Terman. Yes. How long did you meet Millie? Same way, Mama Friday's son. And do you recall approximately when you met Millie? Around the time when my mama moved over there, right there. And did you know Millie's real name? Millennium, if I'm not mistaken, Millennium. At this time, I will seek to publish Government Exhibit 2015, which is already in evidence. 2015 is in evidence. You may publish. Do you see the person on the screen? Yes. And who is that person? Millie. And was Millie a part of a gang? Yes. And what gang? Goonie gang. Now, you previously mentioned... A few of your brothers that passed away. One of them was Robert Vaughn. Is that correct? Yes. Did Robert Vaughn go by a nickname? Winnie. G. Winnie. Was Winnie or G. Winnie older than you or younger than you? Older than me. Was he a member of a gang? Yes. What gang? Gangster Disciples. Any specific faction? You could say he was Goonie Boss. He hung with us, but Goonie Boss. I'm now showing you what's been previously admitted into Government Exhibit 2207. It's in evidence. Go ahead. Do you see the person on the screen now? Yes. And who is that? G. Winnie. Now, when you were a member of Goonie Boss around this time, did you do any drugs? Yes. And what drugs did you do? Weed, Xanax, lean. I'm sorry. Can you say that again? Weed, Xanax, lean. Now you said weed, correct? Yes. And what is weed? Weed. Yes. Is that another term for marijuana? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you said Xanax. Is that another term for Xanax? Yes. And then you said lean. Is that correct? Yes. And what's lean? Codeine, promethazine. 
I'm sorry. Codeine, promethazine. And how often did you do these drugs back at the time we are talking about now? Like every day. Now, did you, did the Goonies have different roles within their, within the gang? Yes. What were some of the different roles? You had people get money, robbing, shit. My bad, robbing, shooting. You said get money. What does that mean? Like hustling as far as like selling drugs. So there were people selling drugs. There were people robbing and there were people shooting. Is that correct? Yes. What was your role? I started off, I started off shooting. I was shooting. You said you started off. Did you become something else? Yes. And what did you become? Started getting money hustling. When you say hustling, what do you mean? Selling drugs. And what kind of drugs did you sell? Weed, cocaine, heroin. And do you recall when you started selling these drugs? Like around 2013, 2014. You said that there were shooters. You said you were a shooter. Yes. Have you shot at people? Yes. Have you hit any people? Yes. Do you know if you have killed anybody? I never killed nobody. How do you know? I know. How do you know? Because of the people that, the people that said I shot them, it was my friend. You said the person you shot was your friend? Yes. Tell us more about that. My little brother got into altercation. When my brother got into an altercation, we go on a block. We go on what it was. 68th in May. We went on 68th in May. We made it over there. When we made it over there, can I have some foundation for the time and which brother sustained as to foundation? When was this? Summertime. Do you recall approximately what year this was? Like about 2014, 2015, I think. Like 14 or 15. And what happened during that time? Boo Boo got shot in the head. And do you know what happened to that person? Yes. We wound up taking him to the hospital. Do you know if that person lived? Yes. Now, you said you were selling. Did he live? Yes, sir. He lived. You said you were selling drugs around this time. Where were you selling drugs? On Aberdeen, not Aberdeen, May, right there on May 68th and May or 69th and May, right there. Were you selling drugs with any other Goonie members? Once upon a time, yes, I was. When you say once upon a time, when was that? That was, that was after like a little bit down, like around 2015 or something. Who were you selling drugs with? Me and Old Dog. And at that time, were you selling drugs? This is when I wound up moving into my apartment in between Racine and May. What kind of drugs were you and Old Dog selling? Weed, heroin, dope, I mean crack. And did you receive money from those drug sales? Yes. What did you do with the money? We would buy guns, go back to the store and buy more drugs or whatever. And what did you and Old Dog do with the guns? We distribute them out or take them. Who did you distribute them to? The shorties, to the younger kids that was younger than us or older than us. Everybody. We'd make sure everybody was protected. And were those other Goonie members? Yes. Now, around this time, after you got out of jail and you were back with the Goonies, did they have rivals? Yes. What did Goonies call their rivals? Ops. And who were some of the ops around this time? J-Town, Push Squad, the Moles, 
What did Goonie members do with respect to their ops? We got into it with people we were going to shoot, all type of stuff. What do you mean got into it? When we got into it, like when we we was beefing with people. And what do you mean by beefing? Beefing mean getting into it with rival gangs. When we get into it with rival gangs, you will go shoot, kill, whatever. Around this time, would Goonies go shoot their ops? Yes. And would it be how often they do that? It wasn't no time limit on it. If somebody seen an op or if somebody seen a person we was into it with, they was going to get them. Could this be every day? Yes. And several times a day? Yes. Yes. Now around this time, did Goonie have their own territory or blocks that you would hang out on? Objection around what time? Can we get a year? Sustain to foundation. Sure, I'm talking about after you got out of jail in December of 2012, so around 2013, 2014, around that time we was good to go wherever because we really wasn't beef with people around that time. Now, would Goonie have meetings? Yes. Can you explain what a meeting was? Basically like a session where we, when we have meetings, we just basically like talking about what was going on or any up on money to get more guns and stuff like that. You set any up on money. Would Goonie give money to a pot? Yes, we had to any up where we got. Like each time we have a session, we'll have to put up some or whatever. We'll have to put up money. If you can't come, if you don't have money, that was cool too. Approximately, how much money would Goonie members have to put in the pot? It wasn't an estimate amount of money. It was whatever you had at the moment. If you ain't have nothing, you ain't had nothing. If you did, you did. Where was this money held? Sometimes I would keep it. It was just sometimes it would depend on who was ever in control, who had the money. Once upon a time, I was the treasurer, so I had the money. Would other people keep the money as well? Yes. Now, what was the money used for? To buy more guns and stuff like that. And guns for the game. Are you familiar with the term trap house? Yes. What is a trap house? Trap house where we sell drugs out of. Did the Goonies have trap houses? Yes. And did they have more than one? Yes. What were some, where were some of the trap houses that Goonies utilized? We had one on May. We had one. Actually, I turned my house into one. I wound up leaving it to them. And where was that house? In between Racine and May. They had one on, go ahead, I'm sorry. They had one on Bishop. Do you know where on Bishop? Next door to Mama Friday house. What was done within the trap houses? That's where, like, we would sell drugs out of that. We would keep stuff in his stash stuff and stuff like that. Your Honor, at this time, I would seek to publish Government Exhibit 2330, which is already in evidence. 2330 is in evidence. You may publish. Do you see what's on the screen in front of you? Yes. Do you recognize this building? Yes. What do you recognize it to be? That's where I used to live at. Do you recall about what time period you lived in this building? I can't recall when I moved. Was it after you got out of jail in December of 2012? It wasn't right after, but like around, I'm going to say like, 2013 or something like that. And you said that you turned this into a trap house. Yes. What do you mean by that? Basically, I left it. I left it to the shorties and them. I left it to them. Were you paying rent to live in this house? At first I was, but when I left it to them, I stopped, you know? 
You said that the shorties use this after you left? Yes. And approximately what time was that? Objection to foundation. I'm trying. Go ahead, lay a foundation. Approximately what time period did you leave this house? I don't know the exactly time thing, but I know right after Cushy died, I was already gone. So I'm going to say after Cush, so I'm going to say like a few months before Cushy got killed because I was out. Who's Cushy? Cushy, that was a friend of mine. Do you know Cushy's real name? No, not off the bat, no. And when Cushy, was Cushy a goonie? No. When Cushy died, were you still living in this building? No, I, I was already moved. And when is the... Do you recall where this building was located? In between Racine and May. Your Honor, at this time, I will seek to make Government Exhibit 2331 and publish. Any objections to the mission of Government Exhibit 2331? No. 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 It's in without objection. You may publish. Do you see what's on the exhibit in front of you? Yes. And do you recognize this? Yes. What do you recognize it to be? Mama Friday, the building Mama Friday used to live in. Now, can you circle the building that Mama Friday lived in? This one. You previously testified that Mama Friday lived on Racine, is that correct? Yes. At some point, did Mama Friday move? Yes. What street Mama Friday moved on to? Right here on Bishop. There is a red building next to Mama Friday's house, is that correct? Yes. Can you describe what that building was? That was a trap. You said that was a trap? Yeah. What did you and other Goonie members do with the red house next to Mama Friday's house? We stored guns in there.